Hello everybody, my name is Chris Puncelon. Welcome to another video. Today's video is about how I make samples and how I get them up on my website. All the behind the scenes, everything you need to know. Okay, enjoy the video, goodbye. First, you gotta make a sample. My favorite drum loop at the moment, this is by the homie, actually I'm not gonna say the homie because we don't even know each other. Dylan Graham, it's kind of natural for me to just call everybody the homie even though I don't know, I don't know these, I don't know this guy. Of course we're gonna use Cthulhu because this is just, like, why wouldn't we use Cthulhu, you know? I use this shit like my life depends on it. The trusty old Rhodes. And then we're gonna replay this. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna replay these chords just to give them a more live feel. Okay, we got chord number one. Okay, and then we got chord number two right here. What chord is this? And then we'll get rid of those little filler notes because those did not work. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Move this over a little bit. Cool, and let's change the key, let's see. The good old Omnisphere. See what this sounds like an octave higher. Mm. Ah, it should be E flat. Okay, now that you have made your sample, you're gonna wanna organize your folder. Obviously, however you wanna organize it, I kinda have a specific way of organizing all of my sample packs, the WAV files with all of the BPM in the key. Um, and I do highly recommend putting the BPM in the key in the title of the sample because it just makes it easier for producers. And then I have the stems folder. So once you have your folder organized the way that you want, you're gonna want to compress it or make it a zip file. Noob question, but what are stems? There's no there's no such thing as a noob question, bro. It's all good. Okay, so stems are the individual uh, pieces of the sample. So this is the sample. <laughs> Right, and then if we go to the stems folder for live free, uh, these are all the individual parts that make up the sample. So this is the guitar, keys, and vocals. You get the point. Oh, and also you have to make your artwork. I completely forgot that you have to have some artwork. And if you have trouble making artwork, I actually just found two different websites that have absolutely changed my life. There's this website called unsplash.com. They have a bunch of royalty free pictures that you can just download and use for whatever you want. Pick a picture and you can make that your sample pack artwork. Like imagine you made this dude the artwork for the sample pack. Uh, there's also another one called pexels.com. Just go through, find a nice little background that you can use for your sample pack and you'll be good to go. I use Shopify to make my website, but you can use Wix, Squarespace, Delphi, B stars, Airbit, doesn't really matter. It's kind of all the same. Shit. So then I'll go into Shopify. I'll press add product. Obviously I'll title the sample pack, put the description. I do like to put a preview of my sample pack in the description so that people can get a feel for what the sample pack sounds like. All this administrative shit that you will learn once you uh, make your own sample pack store. And then once it's finished, this is what it'll look like. Rodman, out now, free, 10 samples, all that shit. So here's the preview. I've been getting some questions on how do I get digital downloads on my website. So I have this 
app. I used to use a service called SendOwl, but I've switched over to an app called Digital Downloads. Um, this is what it looks like. I just go in here and then I'll upload my product. And as you can see, all of my shit is right here. Hello, everybody. 